Now, this first group before you is the seventh grade band. This group is an absolute joy to work with every day. And I always feel like I have fun stories to share, not only about them, but with them. Uh, this group was not only the first middle school group to attend festival in two years, but they also rece received straight ones from each judge, earning an overall first division rating. This evening, we have a fun group of selections for you, starting with Labyrinth by Michael Story. The next piece that we have for you is El Dorado by Mark Williams. Um, and this song features two soloists. When I call your name, please stand. Uh, the first soloist is Isaac Chilson on trumpet. And the next soloist is Alex Davis on saxophone. Now, at this time, if you um, either played a soli or a solo throughout the entire school year, I want you to raise and be recognized. Go for it, yep. Uh-huh. <laughs> nice. And now, before we play the piece, Mr. Bickle is going to stall for me while I do a quick uh, costume change. Have fun. Hi, <laughs> I'm stalling. A uh, couple of things. Uh, first of all, the seventh and eighth grade bands have done a great job rehearsing Mr. Wallace. What we really didn't have last year with all the uh, different conditions we were facing was just a regular rehearsal schedule. But not only has Mr. Wallace brought that back, he's brought back the feeling of band, about how we do this communally. We make music together. We make music out of the notes. And I can't think of a better person to be at the helm than Mr. Wallace for your kids. So I just want to give it up for Mr. Wallace while he's changing. I thought that would have been enough time. 
So, uh, as he's, I think he's almost done. There we go. There we go. Now, if you all were at the sixth grade concert, you can notice similar attire. I asked them what we can do to make El Dorado more fun. Well, and I found out in the process that El Dorado was an old Western movie from like the 60s. And I told them that and they're like, oh, sweet, we should play a Western. Well, I thought I found a pretty good Western. And I put the clip up there and they looked at me and they went, that was terrible. That was boring, we need a different video. So, in typical seventh grade fashion, I let them pick another video instead, and they much more enjoyed the bull riding. So I hope you guys enjoy the bull riding video as we play El Dorado.
There are a few awards that I would like to hand out, um, but before I do this, I wanna say a few things to all my seventh and eighth graders. This year has been an overwhelming year of growth for me, um, both professionally and personally. Please know that each and every one of you has touched my life, whether it be your crazy stories, your questionable, beha your questionable behavior on Fridays, <laughs> or just your smiles as you entered the room. I started this year with a list of names, but I end the year with a family. So I thank you for that. I never forget to always choose kindness, always. And now to the parents, thank you for your unwavering support this year. Both the students and I are lucky to have such a strong tra tra tradition of excellence here at Western School District, and this wouldn't be possible without you or your help. Now for the awards. There are several awards that we give um, at this time of year. The Leadership Award is just one of those. Um, this award is given to students who have exhibited outstanding leadership amongst their band peers. Now, I'm gonna give out the awards, but I will give you your certificate after the concert, okay? The first leadership award is gonna go to Isaac Vanderveen. <laughs> the next set of awards that uh, we give out are the Outstanding Musicianship Award. This award is given to students who have consistently demonstrated great skill in preparing their music. The first to receive this award is Miss Caitlin Sawyer. RJ Coolhane. Jana Zinker. Taylor Bradley. Olivia Kiefer. And Ellie McCollum. Now, for this last award, it was really hard for me to pick one, so I had to pick two people. Um, the seventh grade band award is traditionally given to one student, but this year, these students have proven to consistently demonstrate great skills on their instrument, proven to be a leader in class, and has helped mentor peers in their section and really stood out among the fine arts department. Um, the two recipients of this award this year will be Kadia Heath and uh, Mr. Isaac Chilson. So, before you guys leave, make sure you see me so I can get your certificates, okay? Cool. All right, um, the next piece that we're gonna do, it will close out this portion of the concert. Um, I hope you guys enjoy Don't Stop Believing," featuring Mr. Toby Johnson on the drum set and Mr. Paul Bickle on the piano.
Ladies and gentlemen, the seventh grade band.